Good morning, everyone. So, how's everyone doing there today? Well, I think it's about time I actually do some, or oh, head out of town for once. And not by Sky, actually, this time. Oh, this is actually, I think I should, or oh, by the time I actually drive there. Because actually, I'm actually going to do a little project that I'm actually going to do right here. Because I don't want to have raise, raise the expectations on me, so. But before we get into things, I'm shocked at the, how well the Lies Would Lead video is doing. Well, not my one, but the story that was done on me. 13,000 views in two weeks. Those are kind of numbers that a person like me can actually dream of having. Well, at their current status, as in like 52 subs and at the start, which, thank you for that. But, shall we head out to Glenroy 2? And as well, I might as well show you around a little bit. Come along. Welcome to Glenroy 2, the farm that I was actually, well, I was actually raised on when I was actually a very little kid actually. So, pretty much, oh, I just want, came in today just to do some filming and the such and, you know, but I actually wanted to tell you a bit of the a bit of history of this place. So, pretty much, this was actually, well, Mom and Dad were actually bought this farm for someone. I can't remember what the specifics are, but they actually bought some guy who's desperate to get rid of it and, and such. They actually lived out here when they first started with a dream. Lived out here in a small little Apcot hut, which you, you will see shortly, as well as a uh, with no power, no toilets, no. Well, they did have running water, but they didn't have more well, a lot of stuff to do. And your, so pretty much, they actually, well next door over that way is where granddad's actually wall farm and obviously dad took over it when he actually retired. But now, I actually don't come here, out here much anymore. It's just that too bad, so many bad memories and such. But this year, but right now, it's actually run by mum. With, who's actually also co-farming with another farmer that's why well, he's actually up or scattered away and such and this year's been a pretty good year no, as well that's part of me while I go into farmer talk but this year's been a pretty good year in terms of rain and such we have like canola prices about a hundred well last time I checked were about nine hundred dollars a ton and that is unheard of and so of course a lot of people here around the Esmonds region actually have mostly canola, of course. Speaking of canola, I actually have a little, um, what's it called? P uh, public service announcement. Do not, for the love of God, please, Travis, do not get another into our canola crop. Because you're actually trespassing as well as you're going to ruin our crop. So just please, I know it's tempting, but please just don't do it. It's just... Yeah, it's just not right. It's just wrong. So anyway, I was just going out to the main yard now. Oh, pardon me. So I'm driven up here quite some time, so it's out around here a bit sharp. So we're coming out to the yard, and I'll show you around. Let me just go over the gate for you. So pretty much, give me a sec. Oh, I'm doing my get off my sneakers because it's a bit. Well, it's not really muddy, but I just, just want to make sure I, I 
I bought my boots with me just because you never know when you need them. And of course, they were on a farm, so it's going to be muddy and such. So pretty much here, or you could, might see me just behind me, brief, or oh, a little bit. It's a bit in ruins right now because it really, that, we don't have any reason to maintain it. It's an old heart. It's just, it's full of, it's full of rubbish and old stuff and the such. <sighs> Pretty much the only thing we actually only really used that heart for once we moved out is just for the toilets for the shearers. And that's really, well, really once a year. There's no point in maintaining it. So anyway, that's just how part of me. Just a bit <laughs> dusting and such. And let's have, I'll show you around a little bit. Then we'll uh, get on to the main part of the or the start for well, filming for the, the project I mentioned before. <sighs> I actually forgotten how stinky the canola can be. Since all I was leaving this year's most of the canola as mentioned before, it's actually we can always just see behind me that is we actually starting to flower here now. Some of the some of the other farms already started to flower already. So yeah, anyway. So right here is the shearing shed. It's actually, it's pretty small for what, um, just let me adjust this a little bit. It's pretty small oh, for compared to what most shearing sheds today would usually have. Yeah. And, but it does the job. <laughs> I mean, you get your wool and such. So, but of course, the, this is not active anymore. Because we're mostly crop here in the co farm and does most of the cropping here as well. But there's some sheep here as well, of course. It's so pretty much what they would usually do is let's go just go from the back. So, right here is the holding pen and the such. And more is pretty much where the this could easily hold about eight to ten ewes, rams, and the such. We actually used to also cull our sheep in here as well. Or well, believe it or not, we actually, some farmers actually save a lot of money actually just buying, culling their own in sheep. And I don't know who, why the hell the shearers left their boots up there, but. <laughs> Sorry. Part of my language, I, I don't even really care to know. Uh, so these are the hot pants. Uh. And. Pretty much where they usually come from. Oh, excuse me, vegans, don't cover your eyes if you don't want to. If you don't see a corpse. So pretty much this used actually used to be all portable yards, but oh, oh this is gonna stick, hasn't it? Jeez, I've got some time. Oh, no, man. This is going to be a bit raw, so pardon me. This used to be all portable yards here. Well, it's pretty much the, it's just a trailer that actually can extend into yards and such. So these are pretty much brand new. And what well, pretty much is we actually muscle all the sheep coming in for where and usually mo that's where the most paddocks are. Pretty much heading or heading east ways. That's the oh that's arid over that way. So usually all the muscle all the sheep in here. Put it, through that pen, all of it into there, draft them out, oh, especially when we're crushing, push them up and up into there, and that actually go in that, get crushed, go in the shoes, come out here, and we'll let them out that way over here. So, pretty much, if you might have seen over that way, that's the dry, well, there's a dry way heading out. Before mom and dad got, actually got divorced, this actually used to link up the two farms together, but now there's just a useless patch of dirt, really. But to me, it's a runway opportunity. Yeah, because look at that. Besides in that little slope right where that tank is a little bit, that's almost a real good, decent length. And plus, if you actually take the fences out all along the sides, that's just... You can easily make a east, west, north, south runway. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Where we are right now is pretty hilly. So, this is the right here is the flattest area, pretty much. I 
that bit new I am bit I'm not sure what that is for I think that's for the well for the sharing shed that's the hut I was talking about earlier it's actually a bit um what's the car oh it's a bit run down of course I'm actually not gonna bother um going in there because one it's unsafe and two there's probably a bit of snakes in there and I had my fair share of um close calls with the snakes. No, they got bitten a few times. I'm not sure you can see it from here, but there's also actually bees on that top of there too, because that's, so that is a big snake clear for me, I don't know what it's done to death. Pardon the wind as well, sorry. It's just, I don't know, well, this is, I'm feeling on a GoPro, with that big surprise, the camera reveal. This is where we actually, well obviously the shadow are going to stay for the hell away because there are a few bees hanging around by the looks of things. But I'm a bit surprised, I'm pretty surprised is that that's, or well, that is, um, that truck there's actually Nan and Papa's. And I actually believe that's our old tractor too. And as you can see, I'm going to stay the hell away from there because that actually bees are over there oh, as well. It looks like they actually made a hive there too. So we're going to have to deal with that somehow. Because I'm actually not touching it, not getting stung, like I said, not getting stung to death. And that's pretty much it, pretty much. <laughs> and so, but it's nice to, go, it's nice to get away, apart from the wind, there's nothing much to do. It's going, it's going to be something I have to deal with. But pretty much it's just good opportunity for me as well. If I had a drone, I would actually fly it, but probably not on, on a day like today. It's just too windy. It's a bit, no, what's the word? It will be it's unstable and I don't want to risk it. But if this were, but if I have a first person in the drone, this will be a perfect area. Look, no obstacles, no power lines. There's just really just bush winds and myself really I would also show you the rest of the place but as you can see this car is not capable with it it's not for a drive obviously <laughs> it's more designed for the city you know, oh and it can hand or obviously on going between town to town but I just prefer to use it for town running and such but surprise it's a little crappy card but get the job done so anyway enough chatter I actually better go on the filming and I might as well give you a little time lapse I'll actually on second thought nah I don't want to risk it it's just too many bays here As you saw that there's two hives here it's getting too dangerous so I'm gonna head to the condi or go head back to conning up and just I'll grab something to wait, head to the lookout, and oh, I guess I can give you your time lapse right there then. I'll show you the shed again. That little cluster right there, that's a hive. And well, of course, I, I think there might be recent because actually, I'm not, they weren't here the last time I've been. It's spring as well, so. And plus, there's a lot of canola there, so of course, there's gonna be a lot of bees. So, you know, because they're for the well, pollinization. Because, like I said, canola is actually a. Uh, uh, the Chi Ching this year. And the previous Lisa, which was dad, was no, I actually left it here. I believe that actually used to be here too, because I actually do remember using to do hay in that too when I was a kid. So yeah. Anyway, I'm of course like I said I'm in the car. Actually because I'm gonna set the stress again because of the bees. Keep it track of how many times I said that so far. But, and in fact, I actually had a bee coming in here, and I just didn't want to, to get stung because I'm not allergic to bees. I just don't want to be stung by them. Anyway, let's head back to Condi, and well, because actually, and have a look at the lookout. Because I actually never been to the lookout there before, which is ironic because it used to be a local here. Um. You may need. We have a bit of a problem out here. Sorry. We have a bit of a problem out here. What? Oh, we have a bit of a brady problem. With there's two hives. What two hives? Two bee hives. Oh, 
There's actually two beehives out here. Oh, okay. Well, that's not my problem. That's ours. You'll just have to stay away from them. They're in the hut. Yeah, but there's also what? There's actually one right in the one of the old tractors too. Yeah, right. It could be your minus though. <laughs> oh, it's blatantly obvious. In fact, there was well, there's there's hundreds out here. Yeah, right. Well, be careful. Don't you get stuck? <laughs> I'm actually on the way out actually. Are you coming back in now? Yeah, I'm bailing because I, I got what I'd done. Okay, right on then. No worries. Radio, see ya. There's actually one thing I actually forgot to mention well before we head out. Down that way, down the road is, is actually Orleans Airstrip, which is the previous video why in the video of why I love it, of aviation. That's actually the airstrip that I was talking about. It's actually not that's how close it was. So well we used to live here and actually then we actually moved next door. Or then we moved up to what was more no and as the farm in Bray. Uh, which dad currently owns. Sorry, give me a sec. I'm just fiddling this. Try to film and um, do a game at the same time. So, of course, like I said, this is the road. What, there's two ways, as well as I was mentioned before. The Grand, and the, or not the Grand, Cave Arrow National Park is just down the road. So, of course, this road sees a lot of tourists as well. There's two main ways getting down into the Grand. So, damn it. Oh, down to Arid, sorry. Oi, hey, you stupid. Get the names right. These two get very mixed up. And I've been out here in years, all in years, like I said. So, this road here, which I'm not going to reveal the name because for privacy's sake. And also, Mary Valley Road, which is pretty much the road that actually runs from just a little bit of town you and there's a little intersection where Mar or Marv is which goes behind Condi and there's another one which goes behind or just behind Condi and near there's a and of course there's a little road that little intersection where the tree kit goes down and then if you stay on that it's because of dirt road and you won't bow you actually adds or Aaron and I said that one right for once. Anyway, let's get to Condi. Conding up and remember the pronunciation very carefully because a lot of people get it wrong and that slightly ticks me but anyway so I might as well just grab a pint no I'll be of course just so I drink hot coke or whatever and just then we'll head to the lookouts and then we'll head back into town <laughs> So there's one more thing I want to talk about tonight or today. 
it's about oh the lights were late pretty much like i said right at the start of this vlog i'm shocked and i'm being shocked of how well it was done i can actually outperform almost every single or oh, um i wouldn't actually no i wouldn't say outperformed oh i guess i got you can say i got a bit more traction in a way as well or well, as in terms of more people or in terms of interests and in, in, in a way it makes me a bit feels it makes me feel a bit, bit, bit bad in a way because here i am bursting into the scene and yet some of these other stories that get swept or oh, just swept under or or don't get much traction so I, but really though i want to say i want to say thank you for this i want to thank geraldine and Ange for making a story on this or on me it's been an honor and a pleasure as well and pretty much and also i want to thank you the viewer for well, seeing allowing me to see me through your lens well actually technically me seeing me through the lens and onto your screen <laughs> that's sound funny now to come and think of it but but i want to just quickly show you what that's conding up down that way the grand's over there with those peaks over there the duke is somewhere over there i believe it no that the duke is probably that hill over there and howick the area that i grew up yeah oh, we can obviously see that hill up there and this is where I'm gonna say goodbye and run, make a mad dash back into town. Mum wants me to do some stuff around around the house, and I neglected to make it to make this vlog, so I can't make my leave around any longer. And I told I called mum up as you saw, saying I was leaving. So I better not keep it waiting. So anyway, goodbye, fly high, and remember, no heroics, and I mean it. I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye!